Hey, what's going on? In this video, I'm talking to you guys about the very simple, very healthy smoothies that I drink every single day. So I've always been a smoothie lover and they've usually been a part of my everyday routine. Number one, they're just so easy to like make and incorporate into your day. And then I feel like that's one meal taken care of. And then you can kind of have like a breakfast meal for lunch. And then, cause I always have a lot of trouble figuring out what the hell I'm gonna make for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I never have meal ideas. So a smoothie is just like an easy go-to filling healthy thing that you can do. So yeah, usually when I'm like in my regular routine working out, and stuff I do drink a lot of smoothies since becoming pregnant and since gyms have been shut down for the last year it has definitely stuck a dagger in my eating and everything routine because normally I used to drink whey protein and my doctor said that she wanted me to stay away from whey so I was like I'm just gonna kind of take a break from smoothies in general and I'll just focus on like real food so that was all well and good until I hit my third trimester and I really 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 started having a hard time in taking the right amount of protein. I had no desire to eat it. I still don't have a desire to eat it. I wouldn't call it an aversion. I'm not like disgusted by protein, but like, I just don't care for it. Like I, you know, I used to be a crazy meat eater before I would want like chicken or steak or bacon or any of that type of stuff. And right now I'm just like, ugh, I don't like, I don't care. Like I'll look at, you know, some like barbecued steak and I'm like, I, I feel nothing, <laughs> which is weird. Cause normally I'm like, mm, that looks and smells so good. So protein has been a super Super challenge for me to get into my body and I've noticed my energy has been lower because of it and I'm also iron deficient for the first time in my life they do say that your baby like the number one thing that it takes from you is your iron so it could be that too but I really do also think it has to do with the fact that I'm just like not eating my regular protein so like you know I'll have like cereal for a meal sometimes or like just like carbs or fruit or veggies, like I wasn't feeling full and I knew I wasn't getting the protein that I needed. I was like, you know what? I think it's time to reconsider smoothies. So I looked around, I knew I couldn't really have whey protein and a lot of proteins are just disgusting. Like I've actually struggled so hard over the years finding a good protein that's filling, that doesn't taste like chalk, that's not overly sweet and uh, that's like just not disgusting. I've gone through so many different brands, I can't even tell you. And what ends up happening is like, I normally just get sick of one and I'm like, oh, I can't drink this anymore, etc. I also don't really like chocolate, which I know is so weird. So, but that kind of limits me to like vanilla or plain, but plain protein usually like is disgusting. So ironically, I actually watched one of Carly Bible's YouTube videos and she was just recently pregnant and she was using this protein. So I thought I would check it out for myself. So it's an organic, Organic protein. Uh, this video is not sponsored by this whatsoever. I'm just sharing with you guys what I have found. So it's literally just an organic vanilla protein. And this is like the first one that I've really ever found that number one is organic. So it's like safe with pregnancy and whatnot, but it also doesn't taste like shit <laughs> and it's not chalky. The, there's a vanilla flavor. Yes, but it's not like so intense and like overpowering. The protein's very filling. You just need two scoops and it's super filling. So I have been having smoothies with this protein every single morning for breakfast when I wake up and then taking it from there. So then the next sort of half of this video is it took me so long to actually like find recipes that I liked that weren't a hundred steps because I don't have time for that. I don't want to buy a hundred ingredients. I don't want to spend 10 minutes making a smoothie. I want to spend one minute making a smoothie and then drink it and move on with my day. So I was looking at all these recipes and it was like this, these beautiful like pineapple basil smoothies and like all these like nice sounding things. And I was looking at the ingredients and it was like already 10 things. And it was like half a tablespoon of this, like one quarter of this. I'm like, I'm not. So I was like, I'm just gonna have to trial and error my own smoothies and figure out what tastes good. And I finally done that. And now I'm gonna share it with you guys. It took me a while. I experimented a lot. Uh, I made some disgusting ones. I'm not even gonna lie. And I've figured out what is really delicious. So it's three smoothies these and I pretty much just like rotate between these three. I don't do measurements either, by the way. Like I'm not gonna tell you one teaspoon, like just eye it. So I'm gonna take you through each smoothie, show you what they look like, show you how to make them and show you what the end result looks like. Number one is the avocado blackberry smoothie. It's pretty simple. There's not any crazy ingredients involved. You need an avocado. I try to do like a smaller one because 
just, you don't want it to be like overbearing with avocado. A banana, some frozen blackberries because I do these instead of ice, some organic protein and almond milk. So I did ask my doctor about this organic protein. Uh, she said she wanted me to stay away from whey, but she said organic protein should be fine. She said she, she would prefer if I get my protein from like food, but as I mentioned, I've just been like really struggling with that. So this has been a really amazing substitute and it's the vanilla bean flavor and it's very mild. It's not like that overly sweet stevia, gross, like vanilla flavor. It's like super mild, but it doesn't have that chalky taste either. So I really like this protein a lot. Okay, so I always start with the blackberries because they double as my ice. Let's see. I think that's pretty good actually. I don't wanna overdo it with the blackberries. Next, I'm gonna add my banana and I literally just like break pieces off and toss it in. Next, I will do my avocado. And I just like squeeze it in like that. I'm then gonna add my protein and I do two scoops. Then I do all my liquid at the end cause I think it just like helps it blend better. So I do like a decent amount. Also, I find that the avocado can be a little thick. So I am just gonna add the tiniest bit of plain water. Again, just to help with the consistency. And that's it, simple and easy. And that's it, and then I just get like a jar or some large sort of cup and uh... Mmm, and this will be extremely filling. Like this will fill me up for like a couple hours. The next one is probably my favorite, banana peanut butter. It has the fewest ingredients, but I just like the flavors. Who doesn't like peanut butter and banana? I don't know anyone. So this one is, yeah, super simple. So I do add ice to this one because there is no frozen fruit. So I just have this ice cube tray. And I always, I always do like the ice and the chunky stuff first. So I'm going to put, I usually put three or four. Today I'm gonna to put four. A banana. Sometimes I even put two bananas depending. Like if they're really small bananas, I'll put two. This one seems to be like a decent size. So I'm just gonna stick with one. Then the peanut butter. I just use like a completely all natural smooth peanut butter. And also I started storing it upside down in the fridge and look how nice it is. It's so easy to use. Like the oil separation doesn't happen. It gets mixed in cause that's so annoying to deal with and all of that stuff. I'm gonna put a large spoonful <laughs> cause I just really like peanut butter. Maybe I'll put the smallest extra amount for good luck. That's a lot of peanut butter. So you can obviously put as much or as little peanut butter in as you want. There's no right or wrong answer. I like to do that amount because I find the ratios end up tasting pretty good. You don't have to overcomplicate it. And then I do like the tiniest little like pinch of cinnamon, like literally just a, then my protein, two scoops. And then this is what it looks like before I add in any liquid. So it's pretty full. Um, I'm just now gonna add my unsweetened almond milk. And this I just wing too, but I, I kind of just like to cover everything. I just wanna make sure everything's covered, you know? Like that's good. So I'm pretty sure that was good. I wanna say that was like a minute, a minute 30 max. And then I just have my glass. I feel like this is not all gonna fit in here. Yeah, cause this is like a small glass. That's why I prefer a jar, but it's just in the wash right now. So I'll have just have to like drink this afterwards. But uh, that's it. That is the peanut butter banana smoothie. And then last but not least, I do a tropical smoothie. It's very, very simple. There's barely any ingredients. So it's one banana, frozen mangoes, frozen peaches, protein, and then just some unsweetened coconut milk. It's very mild tasting. It's not like overbearing at all, uh, especially cause it's unsweetened, but it makes a little bit of a difference and just adds like a bit more of a tropical vibe. So I always start with the ice related things first. So I'm gonna throw some, and I just like eye it. Like that was a bunch of mango chunks. I'm sure that's fine. Next I'm gonna do this amount of peaches. Uh, maybe, maybe a few more for good luck. So that's roughly like a handful. Then I will do the banana and I just like literally rip it off like this. Next is the two scoops of protein. And then our coconut milk. I always do the liquid last to ensure that it just blends well. 
and I blend it for about a minute, give or take. I really am just looking for the like ice chunks to be gone. And once those are gone, everything else is like blended up well. And uh, so yeah, I just uh, pour it in. So those are the three smoothies that I rotate through every single day or every single week, I should say. They're really good. I don't get sick of them. And like, if you're missing some ingredients, it's no big deal. They still taste good if you forget some things. And they take like about a minute to make and they're delicious. My blender, by the way, was $40 on Amazon. I'll see if I can find it still. And I'll link it in the description. You know, I hear people, they, they have these like crazy blenders. People love the Vitamix, which no, no doubt is an amazing blender. It's really just unnecessary for these like basic smoothies. You can easily do a $40 blender from Amazon. It's easy to wash. It blends everything that I need. No big deal. And, uh, keep it simple. That's it for this video. I hope you guys got some amazing smoothie ideas to incorporate into your eating routine. If you guys want to see me trying new things twice a week, please subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on Instagram for more. <laughs>